The Department of Civil, Structural, and Environmental Engineering is one of the main engineering departments here at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at UB. Uh, we span relatively traditional areas of civil engineering and environmental engineering, and we also are expanding into new areas that we're very excited about. The department is fairly broad in scope. We cover areas of structural and, and earthquake engineering, environmental and water resources engineering, geotechnical engineering, but we also have a very uh, quickly growing environmental engineering department, as well as a growing transportation program, especially with the establishment of our interdisciplinary sustainable transportation and logistics center. Institute of Bridge Engineering is a research center that brings researchers in bridge engineering to advance knowledge in uh, bridge performance design and analysis. And we also educate the next generation of bridge engineers and also transfer knowledge to the industry. It is important to advance bridge infrastructure because we have an aging infrastructure system. We also have limited assets, so the better we build our bridges with new technology and research, uh, the more durable they will get, the more sustainable they will get, and the more resilient they will get against natural hazards. I visited Mexico City and Nepal with my students and my collaborators after devastating earthquakes they had uh, in uh, both uh, cities. And uh, the reason is that uh, we were able to study the behavior of the buildings in uh, reality. And so we went into actual buildings, we got measurements, and uh, that's a very unique opportunity because essentially nature turned into the biggest laboratory we can imagine. I think it's very important for our department to adjust into the developments uh, in the society and also the new threats that uh, might be coming our way. Because we have to make sure that we can provide the tools that practicing engineers need to address any type of uh, hazard that uh, might be threatening our uh, infrastructure and our well-being as a society. Sustainability is the consideration of the economy, the environment, and society in all of the actions that we take and the, the words that we say, um, the things that we think and that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Costa Rica is one of the most sustainable countries in the world. They have about 30% of their land as protected forests. About 99% of their electricity is renewable with a goal of 100% and they have a very happy, socially conscious population. So it really provides a perfect venue to show students what sustainability looks like. I believe that environmental engineers are uniquely situated to contribute to sustainability problems. And so it's really essential that a department of civil structural and environmental engineering provide them with opportunities to engage in sustainability, be it through research, courses, or even entire degree opportunities on campus. The Institute is a joint initiative between the School of Engineering and the School of Management at the University of Buffalo. It was established in 2013 to bring transportation faculty all across UB to work together under one roof. Transportation is an interdisciplinary field, so you need people from different backgrounds to work together. And the Institute is supporting this multidisciplinary nature of the field. Geotechnical earthquake engineering is the study of the natural environment, soils like sands and clays, in response to earthquakes. And it's very important because we need to understand how the natural environment interacts with our built environment in order to design safe and efficient infrastructure. So full-scale experimentation, like the experiments that happen in our laboratory, are very important because, unfortunately, we live in a world of empirical analyses, or more academics are too scholastic. So in order to have these really meaningful analyses, we have to have real data to drive those models. UB's Environment and Water Resources Program has a number of research areas. Some of us are researching water and wastewater treatment options that focus on the environment and resource recovery. Others are looking at water quality modeling to better understand surface and groundwater contamination. And others are looking at materials that help us better treat air and water pollution. The Great Lakes contain 20% of the world's freshwater resources. They also receive lots of urban and agricultural runoff, as well as combined and sanitary sewer overflows. This pollution presents a health risk for both humans and ecosystem health. It's critical for us to understand the sources and fate of those microbial contaminants to better protect humans and ecosystems. UB is located on Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, making this an ideal place to do this research. 
I would recommend this program for a couple different reasons. One is that interdisciplinary nature uh, of the department and how there's many different research um, programs going on within a department that integrate biology, ecology, environmental engineering, fluid mechanics, things like that to enhance the ecosystems in which um, humans are living and dwelling in. And then also the diversity of, of the university is another really um, unique opportunity, both in terms of the faculty and the student body. There's a lot of opportunities for students to uh, learn about different cultures and integrate many of those ideas into their own learning environment. Our role for the future is to provide the expertise to respond to a changing set of societal needs. There are, there are new problems, there are new challenges that we need to face from supplying water, to dealing with hazardous wastes, to building structures that are sustainable, and, and so on. I, th I think we need to be flexible enough and have the expertise to go in the directions that we need to. All of these things are evolving and changing uh, societal needs that we have the expertise to uh, address.